Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. It's another Friday night, and of course, you know, we never fail. We are here. Whether there's fuel subsidy or not, fuel in our cars or not, we are here. Well, of course, because gang lives here. But in any case, welcome to the Black Table. My name is Mazino Appeal. You know that already. What you don't know is who we have here with us. Well, we're going to surprise you today because it's a very interesting topic, and we needed just the right gentleman to be on it. Today, we'll be talking about midlife crisis. Is it really a thing for Nigerian men, or is it just something we just came up with? Well... I think if we take the general age of everybody here, <laughs> we're going through it right now. Let's introduce to you who we have. In the house here with us, you know him from the Big Brother fame. His eyeballs, well, they can open a bottle of beer, and we need that right here because we're out of openers. Mr. Shia Wolowa is in the house. How you doing, man? Ah, uh, fantastic. I'm glad to open beers. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's about the beers on everybody. You yes, know indeed. I mean? yeah. After all, we're drinking, so what the heck. <laughs> Let's just... Thank you very much. Yeah. He's not the only one we have in the studio. Of course, we have the Mr. Akiele himself. <coughs> We're not too sure about how many fathers or how many babies he's fathered, but we know he's still unmarried. So, girls, you're lucky. Get in now. Mr. Akiele, soul child, how right. you doing, man? Baby daddy of Lagos. That's what they call him, by the way. But, yeah, no I think, baby. I think this is your title from now on. Baby, baby daddy, daddy of, of Lagos. Lagos. Yeah, it's been there for a minute, though. Hey, that's, that's, that's cool. <laughs> baby daddy I've seen new Lagos. titles are popping up. Yeah, what's up, Lagos? What's oh, up, fantastic. Lagos? What's up, Lagos? Good. Yeah. And last but not least, of course, you guys see him every single week here. He's here when I'm not. He's kind of like our most regular guest, even if I don't regard him. But then he's been a very, very trusted friend for the past, what, well, it's been, what, almost two decades, hasn't yeah, it been? Yeah, almost two decades. Almost two decades. Yes. Mr. Gang is in the building. Gang, say hi, man. Yes. Zeno respects me because I know where the bodies <laughs> are buried. So, wifey, give me a call. Whatever he says happened before I go marry Jennifer, please. <laughs> <laughs> she knows, she knows. In any case, it's going to be a fine evening. We're already well marinated. Everybody, uh, yeah, we're, we're good to go. So tell you what we're going to do. Let's already kick off with the show. After this very short break, we'll be back. And like we promised, we're back. Like we never left. I think that was something from the 90s. Was it Timberland? I can't remember. Yeah, more or less. More or yeah. less. In any case, let's do our very, first, uh, very first story, our quick fire number one for today. We have this very interesting story we are going to be sinking our teeth into. That's what he told her to say. Um, a virgin daughter of a general overseer wedded to a man without a penis. Yes, you heard right, without a penis. Uh, <coughs> what sort of problem is this for the innocent lady? The devil is a bascrad. Now, first off, she tells a very interesting story. She tells, like, you know all this thing about being in the church and everything, you want to, like, uphold the morals and everything, mm. uh, honor of your family and all. You must get married as a virgin. You must also get married to somebody who's spiritual and all. No sex before marriage and everything. Plastic they got man, your eyeballs though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I came from the bed. I came from the bed. Bombastic I mean, Any so, more beer bottles? <laughs> <laughs> like you microwave them open. <laughs> In any case, she gets married to this guy. No sex before marriage. They get married and she discovers that her husband cannot perform. And I'm not talking about he cannot perform. She says in her story that he actually has absolutely nothing down there. She asks him, hey, guy, why didn't you tell me wait, this while we're... Sorry, but he, as in, there's no... He's like an angel. There's no genital. Male, female, nothing. Oh, he's not even sure of where... If, as in... Um, Sorry, adjectives, is it pronouns? What do we know. use? Which one he is? Is he transparent? Sorry, is he no, in the is he, is he somewhere around? Is he far there must, have been a, there must have been like a serious defect or something that happened. He claims to from not birth. have from birth that yeah. he has no genitals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, Somebody pushed it in or something. I don't know. No, but here's the funny thing. They say the guy, <laughs> the guy literally physically button. does not have a penis. No penis. And she found this out after, after the they marriage. Had married. Now, I'm thinking, is this a problem that being moral or religion has caused that you have no experience from before, you have not tested or trusted whatever it is you're going into, you get married, and then this guy now tells you that we're married. She also tells that she actually told her parents, I can't stay in this marriage, you. Oh. I need this, I need this satisfaction. I think for, for me, and I... told her that, see, you cannot spoil our family name. Oh. You, marriage is for better or for worse. There's so many things to look at here. Num number one is you, you, you end up marrying the people that your parents want you to marry and not who you want to marry. Mm -hmm. yeah. The second thing is you as a man, you don't have a penis. Why do you want to get married in the, in the first, first place? place. And why don't you let the person know? Because like, there's something you said. We're not saying that you need to test the waters before marriage, mm. but at least... Give information. Let people know that this is what's wrong with me. I know Geprick. Communicate. <laughs> Do you understand? I don't have a penis, so I cannot Ooh, penetrate wow. you. 
I so mean, that you know what, if the girl still says, I don't need your penis, I have one of my own. I love and you, mother. You know, <laughs> then she knows what she's bringing to the marriage. Oh, but you can't just get into marriage without knowing these things. Yeah. And then you find out and you be like, oh my God. Now, what stops her from coming to somebody like Zeno and say, can I use your penis? So I, think, no, I, I don't think, think Zeno's going to mind. I've only said this to people like, okay, we make it a religious thing, right? Mm -hmm. But I always say it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, process of deceit, we, we lie to ourselves, we use that as an excuse to hide from a lot of things that we, that we don't want the other person to know. Because mm -hmm. trust me, if they had tried to, uh -huh, this you would have been, this before, this, before this would have been really obvious to lay that, mm. come on, where's the if dick? They tested the waters. Where's, where's the dick? If she understood yeah. the motion of the ocean. Where's the yeah. dick? <laughs> then, then, <laughs> she, then she cannot go if in she, and say, okay, you know she, what, I can go with you without the dick. No, but, but, but now, she doesn't even know. No, but, she doesn't which, even know. Which, uh, sorry, I don't understand. How do you want to traverse the oceans <laughs> without a vessel across? <laughs> it, it does not make sense. Are you just going to say, oh, oh my God, I want to get a ticket to go to Saint Tropez without a ticket? <laughs> Maybe religiously. Religiously. But she's, she's, she's the daughter she, of a. Uh, a, so, a, a I, can't, I can't remember her sign up as Mary and she, she was meant to bring Jesus Christ. Mary got pregnant without, so, without, without a dick. Though. So, with everything you guys are saying, as gentlemen <laughs> of the black table, you're mm. saying that marriage is sex. No. But mm -hmm. here's the thing. It As comes, sex comes with the package marriage. Yes. Man and woman is sex. Yes. Now, know. but here's, because you have to <laughs> yeah. ask this question. Man and so woman whatever, is sex. Her, whatever, is, whatever position her parents have in the church she attends, do they want, gran do, do they want grandchildren? Mm. Do, the, do the bride and groom want children of their own? Mm. How are they going to have these children? So it's not just about sex. There are other things as well. Sex is a huge component in marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that. It's a huge, it has, it's a big deal. Sex is a big deal. So is this going to be a sexless marriage? That's the next question. Obviously. So, so the problem is now, if she, she already is the one complaining, I can't do without this. The guy has spent all his life without a penis. He's lived his life. He can live without a penis. Okay, but wait, she wait. can't. Sorry, guy, but wait, let's think about some. She never done it before. How she know she, she needed it? Exactly. She, she I don't she know she needed it. No, 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 no. Because her body, biology her tells her. Will tell you. No. I, because she's not telling us everything. She might have also been <coughs> digitally stimulating herself from long before. No, but here's the funny thing. I want, listen, listen Friend, to me. Yeah, yeah, listen, actually, listen. But... Listen. For somebody, I'm not trying to say I know a few virgins, but I know a few virgins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows everything. There's a thing about biology. Later on, brother. There's there no more virgins. There's no more virgins. There's no more virgins. There's no more virgins. You don't True. tell a brand new baby, True. open your mouth to take food. Listen. They know it's the mouth the food goes into. Nothing. You just, True. on your own as a True. human True. being, True. True. you know Listen. what your body parts desire mm. and what they want. Well, mm. it's, so not, it's not every single Nigerian family that had the talk of birds and bees. I mean, they just, you know, we just knew what we were supposed to do. Are you saying that? You absolutely need a phallus to be sexual with a person. You actually need your apparatus to be sexual with a person. Couldn't you use something else? Sorry. It's just, yeah, no, you can't you can stimulate with other means, you see, is my point. And that could cause satisfaction, ah, whether you like it or not. You see, okay, in this conversation, my school of thoughts is, is, is it's, it's unique and it's mm -hmm. one certain degree because sex is a normal thing. It's meant to be a normal thing. Mm -hmm. I would like to believe that we are put on this planet mm -hmm. To reproduce. No, that was the first command. Right. Go out and multiply. Mm -hmm, thank you. Yes. But you see, because some people who needed control decided to bring in rules and regulations that have over time been destroying our way of life. Are you saying religion has been destroying I'm our way of life? I'm not saying religion Exclusively, has, no. No, not, ex you know. People, people have, uh, would I say, they've turned things in ways to favor their, mm -hmm. their own for Construct their, them. Yeah, exactly. And really and truly, it's very sad. Because now... Hell. See, it is the black table. Young, young lady, I'm sorry for, for you, <laughs> wherever okay. you are, that you're not going to, you didn't get to get it, but why can't she now opt out because the family is saying that? It's religion. Yeah. This. It's, the, it's, it's, so, it's, it's, it's the restrictions. Now, these are the things that go, for me, that go against that, would I put it as a construct religion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I go to call a spirit a spirit and say that that's outrightly wrong and let's rewrite it or redo something about it, but there are still people suffering in that up until now. I just now. think it's fraud, if you ask me. And I think yeah. once there's a case of fraud, you can opt out and nobody yeah. should... You yeah. don't exactly. go to able to another ask. person. Because the foundation see. already is wrong already. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, mm -hmm. so if you want to opt out, opt out. I mean, yeah. you Real need quick. it. Yeah. And if you see the lady who's talking, she's not a young girl, though. She don't advance. Mama. Girl. Meaning say, don't say when she done the need this thing, and it's not coming at the end of the Wait, day. Wait, at what age did she, was she getting married? Ah, you didn't say, but the picture I saw, do my until. 
But even even with that, like uh, there, there's something you're saying, Zeno, which I, which I, I, I understand a lot. Sometimes, yes, you can have you can have sexual experiences. Mm. You can indulge in certain pleasures. You can use toys, attachments, or whatever it is that you Take want. Take it from the master. But at the end of the day, like I said, do you want to have children? Children, it's very do important. Do the parents want to have grandchildren? When that discussion comes up, sometimes, no matter the toys or whatever it is you're using, you need the real thing. You mm -hmm. want to feel the real thing. And she's already uncomfortable with the situation she's in, and she wants to call out. Because here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. As long as she's with her husband, no matter what they use or do, she will still be considered a virgin. So I think could, maybe there's a way they can take out something from that. Perhaps, what well, we don't know. We wouldn't yeah. know until... I don't want you to scientifically take, take it out. Take what out? Like, I don't his sperm, like, perhaps. They, they can take out his sperm. And and we don't know. Listen, listen, they want the natural process. Listen, listen what we're going to do. Let's take, a, <laughs> let's take a break because gang needs one. When we get back, we're going into our next quick fire. It's going to be real quick. We'll be back. Welcome back. It's to the Black Table here. We've got very interesting guests. Shane in the house, of course, Mr. Soul Child and gang. Myself, also in the studio. Now, let's talk about our very next uh, story here. Quick fire number two. We got this one. A year after publicly ending her marriage for the second time, actress uh, Chacha Ike and husband reconcile. Now, there's a, a whole lot to, to talk about this. First of all, we've had two instances where these guys actually came out to tell that they are no longer doing well, not doing again, again, again. And then now it seems like as if there's extra efforts to try and make us believe that everything is okay and that they're going to be good for the third time in their marriage. My question here is this. Especially with you celebrities, mm -hmm. you people want to put your business out there for all of us to celebrate it fine all well and good but is there a is there a skill or a measure that says you can put out this much and not this much because it's like you pour out everything out there and then you are under such pressure to now make us think that everything is perfect after a while especially when it comes to the subject of marriage or relationship there's been two-faced there's been this there's been that everybody a who's a celebrity has perhaps put their their shit out there for us to take one side or the other, and then eventually come back and try and make it seem like I say, oh, no, we're good. I don't get it, man. Why do you guys do it, man? I mean, not you, per so let, me, let me answer as a celebrity angler. Who are you? Oh, my, my. <laughs> no, no, no. no. So, 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 celebrity handler. So that you can... Celebrity can, handler. Yeah, okay, okay, we, okay, we okay. manage them, so we, okay, okay. sometimes we, so we, I, need, I like that we need to speak for them sometimes. Mm -hmm. So but when they speak, you can understand why, before why it goes to left. Before it goes to left. So I think sometimes when the craft when the talent is no more selling or is not selling enough, you need, control you need something to patch it up. You need something to close up that, that gap where you're not getting that attention anymore. <laughs> they say you so, have tubeless tire. So, 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 I mean, when, when, when they bring their privacy, they, when they bring this so much to the mm -hmm. public and you feel embarrassed by it, like, why are we knowing this? Mm -hmm. So sometimes you, you probably don't understand why they have to do that because they, probably they have... They did something for attention, clout. Well, well, she, she has been out of. She has never, never trained for anything. That's a lot going. She is. Yeah. She is act. How she is you manage all that? She is everything. She you, is you have managed to so, become. You have managed well, well, to remain to about relevant you. without putting your business <laughs> out there. How do you keep your privates private? <laughs> Exactly what he means, exactly how it sounds. <laughs> private, private. Mm. It's my private. It's my business. Mm -hmm. If you come and venture past where you're supposed to venture, you will collect. Mm. <laughs> it's not your business. If it's I your like business, that. I'll make it. I'll give you the avenue to find out. But if I don't put it out there, excuse me, I try to look for it. Mm. Leave my peace as my peace. But what in is... Nigeria, why is it that it always has to be about relationship you see, that, to make celebrities celebrated? I honestly don't understand. If you ask me, I'll say it's the dumbest thing ever actually exposing yourself that much because mm -hmm. as a celebrity that's the only part you literally really own mm. your private life that's all you actually own in this supposed life that we are in because if you come out you want to fly okada no problem even if you enjoy flying the okada yeah. mm -hmm. you won't go drink beer for local beer parlor no problem mm -hmm. i go like rock this shit again no problem <laughs> You know, yeah. it is celebrity. Yeah. So, okay, so now what's left for you? Your private life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will keep it my private life. And if you come and ask for my... You sh are you sure you really want to find out? Mm -hmm. Because if you find out and you don't go and use it the wrong way, my friend, I have every right to come for you. Let yeah. me pay so much to have it, though. If you pay money to come only for my private life, oh, don't so worry, I'll, I'll pay some money yeah. back to find yours, too. <laughs> you know, it's only... Because 
that's where my own sanity is at. For me, personally, I don't mm -hmm. have anybody else. And I'm not looking to trend for the How wrong reason. are you? Oh, very. Do people know that you're that private? I would like to believe so. Because I discovered things about you today that I never knew. And I, I think that, that's you, how we know, you know he's a very private person. Yeah, exactly. I mean, It's only if I feel you need to, you should know, or, okay, I can trust you with that information. So, except mm -hmm. that, okay, yeah, I'm right now I'm in the media house. Yeah, I said some things to everybody in this same space. Mm -hmm. I know what I would, well, if I hear... So, as in, don't, don't you, just, aren't you under pressure to keep that private private? Because look at us, all of us here. I'm not, and the things you've, I don't you've need used it to... To stay relevant, mm -hmm. my private I, my private life does not need to keep me relevant. It's my private life. So if it goes awry, I know how I'm going to handle yeah, this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I start drinking Gary in my house, now me knows how they drink Gary from my house. Mm -hmm. You get me? A lot of times they are the drink Gary from my house. That guy you fresh out of my head. I want that Gary. I'm going out the bar. You don't know. Mm -hmm. But let, my let me quickly age. quote. Let me quickly quote Shay. Hey God. Let me quickly quote Shay for for those of you that don't know. Woman sweeto. But things know when to stop. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. Oh, no, but, on, but back to this couple that, that we're talking about. Yeah, what, what I like about them is that, you know, when we first heard the stories of their breakup mm -hmm. and all the things they posted online, mm -hmm. they didn't hold back. Mm -hmm. Now that they're back together, they're, they're giving us updates. Yeah. So when you decide to put your privacy, it's no longer private, it's public knowledge. Yeah. Do you understand? And the, the relationship way. just seems up and down, it seems crazy. And I remember the video she posted, talking. About, she was in the hospital, talking about how oh, her husband never really abused her, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. she's actually bipolar. No, 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 stop. You know what? I'm going to come back on that. Yeah. There's something I need, to, I need to clarify regarding that. Let's take a real qu a quick break and fix a few things, and we'll be right back, and I'm going to get on that. Okay, all right. We'll be back. So much we're talking about here tonight. Thank you very much for joining us and keeping it here. Of course, it's the Black Table. You know my name is Mazima P. We've got very interesting topics here today. This one now irked me over the weekend and I over the week, and I thought I'll bring it here on the Black Table for these gentlemen to discuss. My ex-wife is getting married to her male bestie. Ex-wife, male bestie. She told me not to worry about the one. She told me not to worry about by the way. While we were married, um, I was um, never comfortable with their relationship, but she said I was being insecure. I was talking to my guys about it, and they said I had no right to be angry since I had an affair during the marriage, and I had a kid from that affair, which led to my ex-wife divorcing me. Now we're divorced, and then straight up, boom, less than any time, she's married to that guy that I said I had a problem with. Now, I don't know about you. I don't know. <clears throat> you're not my gang. You're married. I don't let me face you. Mm. Do you have, does your wife have a, ha, have a bestie that you, you're like, I know your answer because you're always so careful on television. No, no, no. This one don't be, I can only keep it, I can keep it real. Okay, keep it real My here. wife does not have a male bestie hmm. that she's so close with. Mm -hmm. And is I'm glad by, she does it. Is that, a, is that a, a, an apparatus that you put in place? Is that because she feels that my husband won't like this kind of thing? No, it's not that. It's, mm -hmm. it's just her. Her besties have always been female friends. Mm -hmm. If she had a male bestie, I don't think it would have worked out the way... Would it have worried you? Yes, it would have. Really? Yeah. Hey. Because I know, see, from experience, I know friends, even my older brother, the, there was a lady that he was involved with that we all expected was going to be his wife. Mm -hmm. You get where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. And then at some point in her life, she was, there was this guy she was close to. Mm -hmm. oh. You understand that my brother had issues with. She ended up being, being unfaithful with that yeah. guy, that person that's close to her. But then after all the warnings and everything, my brother still took her back and what, what, blah, blah, blah. But they ended up getting married. Those mm -hmm. guys ended up getting married. When women... That's why they say, marry your best friend. Mm -hmm. Marry that person that's yeah. your friend. Yeah. When you don't, and you still want to keep those boys you've kept in the zone as mm -hmm. your friends, It'll keep it's on a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? That's the problem. And men, men have understood this. I need to be your all. When there's another guy out there, you're telling me, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing. We know as men that if you slip and she... fall and land, so, so that guy will pick you up. I have a different opinion. I don't know if it's something, if it's a biological thing or if it's a psychological thing. I lack the ability to be jealous. Is that bad? Please tell me now so I can go home and... Yes, I know. So, for me, I don't care. If you Let have me a tell you friend, why you I'm don't care. Gang. No, 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 please don't make me look bad. But mm. if, if you... I, I think that our individu individuality is something that is sacred. Yeah. As my wife, I will not infringe on your mental well-being by saying I'm going to put restrictions for you. You can't talk to this person because he's male. It's okay for me. I have no qualms with that. Yeah. And I'm not saying that because I want you to also visit the same thing on me. I'm just like that. I just like that ability to be 
jealous. So it, it's just weird for me to think that, no, don't see this guy. I know I don't like it. It's somehow for me, somehow for me. I don't see another person, even if your gender is different, as, as I don't see you as female. I see you as a person. Yeah. If you get what I mean. So in some way, I might be confused, but I'm saying <laughs> there's no words to define it, if you get what I mean. Okay. Now, however, let me hear case, however let me hear I'm, I'm going to let him talk. However, in this case, this guy also went out, has a child from an affair. Mm -hmm. Does he have any right to be upset that his former wife got married to that guy he was worried about? He has no question. right. She shut the effort. Uh, okay. Well, okay. My standpoint, personally, when I was still in the world, mm -hmm. you know, when I had my boots on, mm -hmm. <laughs> before I got hooked on. Yes, you know yes, on the condom. Right? <laughs> I'm not lying. That old bestie thing is bull crap. It worries you, huh? Uh, not as if it worries me. I have been that bestie. And what did that you do? Kind of, what did you do with the It's not as if I didn't want to be the bestie. I was made the best. Mm. And I knew zone. what I was there for. No, You see, I don't care about the zone. Mm. The same way I got in, the same way I could get out. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was still with my boots on. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you put me in the zone, it's good. I like that place. It's safe out mm. there. Yeah. I know not she ain't had me. No <laughs> ideas coming to mind. <laughs> was it back in the day? In my oh, I miss those days though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna be afraid that someone's gonna whoop my ass or shit. But okay, but honestly, because of where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. I've been in that place where I'm with a girl. I mean, I'm thinking we're friends, where she's thinking I'm friends. The idea of me sleeping with her just comes one night and it happens, but she's dating somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, anything can happen. We're all human beings. We just might make a mistake, we just might not. We can never say. Are we but allowed to be why, why should we be in that? The, the, the thing is, in that relationship, why should you put in a position, put yourself in a position where your best friend I like is someone? That. You I know, don't hold that against you. I like that. I might have a best friend that's really attractive. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. No, regardless of how fine you are. You can just trip, fall, and land in sex. Mm. You I mean, you just that. fall down on it, and next thing you are pregnant. <laughs> These things happen. Yeah. Okay, so it's been, in all honesty, it's been true to yourself. In fact, my woman, you have a male bestie, really? Would you like me to have a female bestie? Mm. Just saying. So that's And me, I've told that, honestly, like, see, most men, I'm not going to lie, they want, there's no man that meets a girl that doesn't want to sleep with her. Huh. There's, over time, you might have that country and I ain't doing it no more. But the very first time, I would like to believe there's, you meet walking through, you say, ah, I'm all, I don't do, I'm in my mind, I don't man. Okay, so straight things first. Ah, this is the so right kind of meat on my on my food. She's going all Steve Harvey on us. But so, so, give us give us a real so, instance from the guy who's out on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. you on the streets. Right, okay, from the from from from, from, from the streets. My own uh, perspective, I, I think if I don't worry Our about from the streets. If I don't if I don't, <laughs> if I don't worry about you having a bestie and we have a thing, I don't care about you, bro. Hmm. Like really, I just want you to come on too. Because trust wow. me, because uh, if you go by the rules of the relationship, streets. love, I mean, they always say marry your best friend, marry the best person, best person you know so yeah, well. But if you know that person so well, what are you sleeping with me? What are you doing with me? I'm a stranger no, in your no, life. No, 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 and you can never tell what the mood will look like that day. Yeah. And men cannot stand when they hear their own chick. That's the situation. It's banging on that guy. Why should you be in that so situation? So why should you be in that situation where you have to run to that guy? When we have our small... That's why you got to be with your best friend. So be so with me. We have issue. We die together. We exactly. Die together. Exactly. That bestie should not be in the picture. Let me tell you why. Should not be in the picture. What's the picture bestie doing in the picture? Let me tell you why Zeno calls me Zeno, by the way. What is weird, but it's okay. Let me tell you why Zeno Lenski. No, it's okay. Zeno's 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 okay. It's because of the kind of woman you have. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Now, Jen is such a special woman to the extent that she's not giving you that headache. Mm. I promise you, if Jen decides to entertain anybody's, um, anybody that's coming towards her, mm -hmm. and you find out, that's when you now notice that mm. you have some spirit of jealousy. Let me, let me, let me, before you go on, I'll let you go on. I'm gonna let you speak, Taylor Swift, but mm. I'm gonna go on Kanye on, on you. See. If Jen wants to have, hmm, no, if a partner hmm. wants to have a best friend, I think it will be an infringement of my part to stop you from having that person. 
your life is your life. Yes. And I don't want to restrict you. Yes. I don't want to make you less human. Yes. Mm. Is my point. And yes. I love that freedom so, so, from my yes. partner. So, I yes. want you to come so, with me so, to like, so, I'm shackled, but so I'm not. So, oh, so, if, 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 if somebody's you know, freedom, let me go. 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 In this instance, let's not do husband and wife, right? No. Let's not do husband and wife. Wait first. Let's not do boyfriend, girlfriend. Wait first. Let's say you see your child. Mm hmm. Uh, your little girl, mm -hmm. you know, she got a best friend, mm -hmm. a bad boy best friend. <laughs> no, she's not a bad boy. And you see, you see, can you control the friends that she's going to have? No. Nah. Do you think I control the friends that your wife wants no. to have? Mm -hmm. So what are you saying? She decides that this see, is the kind of friend I want to have. Now, as you know now, she, as a retired bad boy, <laughs> and I see this guy step up in the place, I see the swag, I see the oh juice. Oh, my hey, God. I'm like, Corey, get out of my house. Who's you your best friend? Who's your best friend? I mean, I see someone that. Like using the kind of pink juice that like, boy, that, 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 you lose, eh? that when I come in, I say, okay, to everybody, eh? Fine girls, I, I release oh, my rock and soul. Go at it. Look at it. You enter into one room, you see five five women. You're oh, like, eh? Go, go, I got the worst, the worst part. You know, he has a penis. No, oh, he has a penis. You get it? You get it? I don't know the type of penis see, he has. Yeah, see, hello, hello. All the type he has. He at that point in time, at that point in time, you see, they, they say they, they cause only big something energy. <laughs> <laughs> you stand, you stand there, and you just, you know, in the middle you of the You two as a man can feel energy. You know, see, in the middle of the you gotta know how to do this. Don't you know how to do it? You know somebody release your reaction. You go start with middle you don't release your reaction. Make the women know say you did. Not people say you did release your pheromones. You get me? Bros, I have an uh, okay. You can't See, just go and be calling in the wrong. It's not even jealousy. Just guide it. Just take your own, and then you be like, ah, it's okay. So your best friend. So my best friend is what is it? Let me go back to the foundation here. Wonderful. I would rather the best that my partner comes to me unshackled and say I love you than come to me with shackles on and say I love you. So is I it know. difference? I don't know if I when you tell them that you can't do this or that, you are putting them, this is what you're doing to them. Mm -hmm. You're fettering them. Is it male but best friend, I already fit into the role of male best friend. What do you mean mm -hmm. the fucking best friend outside? What do you, if you have a female best friend, I, 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 I don't you have a problem. Mm -hmm. stuff. You say you want to go and start kissing a female best friend, is she willing to join us in the room? <laughs> <laughs> I and don't bring another man into our oh, room. Boy. You get me? me I'm, I'm trying to put it as, as plainly See, as possible. Ever right? since I heard this guy, we don't get penis. <laughs> <laughs> anything. <laughs> Anything that has a penis is a threat. Woo, literally. Maybe that guy can be your bestie, though. Oh, that boy. guy can be your bestie. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, right. This will shock you. Guys. When is it? go grow up. I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> my dad will know where Penis go grow up. You're going to wonder. All of a sudden, your mama, your, your baby mama don't have baby. Baby. Right. baby number two from where? Uh, well, you're we, around. We need some time to, 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 to like, like, calm things down. So let's take a real quick break. We'll be oh, back. Best friend, I mind yourself. <laughs> we know Stay tuned to the Black will, Table. We'll I'll be back. You, can we get on the table? You always take the bill on the first date, second date, and third date. Bro code. We're back. Yes, the conversation is still going on. Whether you like it or not, it still continues, man. <laughs> No, Most no, no, of the no, stuff that, go, that, that, that gets told when the cameras are not on us is actually <coughs> fantastic. But tell you what, let's do our main topic here. Midlife crisis. Mm. Is it really a thing for men? Uh, you want to tell your age on air? Yes. What are you? No, no, age, no. <laughs> what are you? Everybody knows. Yeah, exactly. So there's no point in me saying yeah. Gang, what are you? 43, 40, wait. <laughs> ah, hey, for my age. For my age, no. No, no, no. no, from 1979. Sorry, alcohol. 79. It's okay. it's to now. 40, you're going to be 44 now, ain't it? Okay, yeah, so I'm 44 in March. To, okay, 44, 44 in March. March. Wow, it's gotten to that age where you start forgetting your age. I'm telling you, you're I'm really? that old. Really? My Dang. crisis. Really? So, so I, I am currently 42. And I, I like to believe that I've gone past midlife crisis. I think I went through midlife crisis when I was 40. Mm. But, Not necessarily, but no. I know where you're coming from. Yeah. You see, um, basically, with, with, with life expectancy, which is usually around, let's say, 70 or 80, 80 yeah. or give around 90 to that extent, 90 K. they believe that a lot of men yeah. suffer midlife crisis from, let's say, the age, we can bring it down to the ages of about 35. Yeah, exactly. To about 45 and 50. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That's basically, that's like the middle of your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they just feel that men reach a certain point in their ages where they turn to act a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. or exhibit certain behaviors mm -hmm. that show they're going through a phase. But what is it? Is it a financial thing? Is it a relationship thing? What constitutes midlife crisis? I, I think it's a mental thing. Yeah, It's I way, for, for me now, I can speak about me personally, because I used to, I felt 
I've had multiple have midlife. Have you gone through midlife? Yo, okay. I'll say, I, like I was saying, I have, I've had multiple midlife <laughs> crises based on where I was in life. Okay, can you define each of them? Was any relationship, was any financial? Some was, some was financial. Social? Some was uh, professional, career-wise, mm -hmm. where I felt I shouldn't be here, I should be more. Mm -hmm. Some was when I used to compare myself with other people mm, and okay. be like, you know, some okay. of my friends are yeah. here, I'm not here, blah, blah, blah. And I was not looking at myself. It was actually very... You know, looking at other people. Some were selfish when I felt um, I deserved more. Mm. You get me? And some were just like I was frustrated at some point in life. Some was Nigeria. When Nigeria does... Was Nigeria. No, no, no. When, no, don't count. Uh, that. It's no, okay. No, 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 that, that when Nigeria general, do you... Sorry, sorry. That's, okay. a that's a general... That's a general thing. That's a general. That's a general, general. That's Nigeria it's a general crisis. We're going through it now with the whole fuel subsidy thing and everything mm. going on. So, that, let's, so, so, so those are things that. that have happened to me. There have been different stages. Let me put it to you like this. Ever since I was about to turn 40 till after I was 40. I've had so many situations where I felt uh, unfulfilled, unaccomplished, and so many other things that made me start behaving a certain type of way where I, 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 I just don't... I started to not care. Do mm -hmm. you understand? Like, I was like, I don't give an F. You know, the world can go to blazes. You know, I started drinking more. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I started... Uh, womanizing, sorry. Well, um, not, what, not womanizing, but I started giving women the chance. I started, you know... You know? Because you wanted to relive that youth. Yeah, do you understand? I, started, I wanted to relive my youth. There was one time I told one girl that I wanted to know if I still had it. Mm -hmm. Because I had this way with my words, and, and I was like... You still got you know, it. I used to say this stuff, and people were like... I was like... In fact, this is very funny. I opened the door for some female, and she was impressed. And I was like, what kind of guys are you following that don't open doors for you mm. and don't do certain <laughs> Chivalry things? Chivalry is dead. You get where I'm coming from? And unfortunately, some younger women prefer older men. Mm. So I've been in certain situations where I'm like, should I take advantage or I just move? Of... Thank God, because of Christ in me, mm -hmm. I decided, <laughs> I decided yeah. to, Pastor I decided to not yeah. take advantage of those situations, and I'm I now intriguing. realize that I was misbehaving. Sometimes you I... miss your youth, that you start to act like a younger guy. So is midlife crisis tied with being a, a family man? That's one thing we have to ask. I don't know about you, man. You're the only person who's. I don't really think not just with family so, man. So with... Do you think you've gone through it at all? Yeah, think... yeah, I, I think it's. It's a, it's a thing for Have for you us. gone through it, you think? Yes, I have. I, have I, you crossed? Have you, are you on the fourth floor? I think maybe I'm still in it, though. But, uh, but still, no, 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 no. Maybe I'm still in it. Guy. I mean, no, I'm still in it. What, what made like your hair is still dreaded, <laughs> man? Well, you were you. I'm mid still in it. Wow. So, so let me give, let me let me give you the instance of my of my own situation. I, I, I think mine has to do with uh, like like he said, mental space where you just believe that something is not there yet yeah. for you, okay. and um, you're just trying to make sure that thing happens before you make it. Next uh, mm. phase. phase of your life, or make it make a decision on your life on something, on something. So you keep working on that, you keep working on that thing. And sometimes it might not come, and you just drag yourself till you get to the point where you're like, why am I dragging this long? Mm. Maybe you get lucky. People come to your life to advise you, play that motivational speaking. Like, oh, you know what? Maybe you should make it move first, and that thing might happen to you while you're doing those things or that other thing. Mm. So it happens to us. And sometimes it's even our own personal. Problems might be people's problem we yeah. inherited or we yeah. take on, yeah. like because yeah. as, as a Nigerian man, you know you are carrying <laughs> your girlfriend's problem, your family problem, maybe you are married your wife's problem, mm. you're carrying so, your yeah. wife, wife's family's problem. Let me jump in there, so yeah. Child. yeah. And I would like to put it to you that you have not experienced midlife crisis. Take it from a man who has. Okay. Midlife no, but, but, crisis. You know, I'm, I'm coming single gang. guys no. can. No, 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 gang. No, no. I don't think single guys can. Why I'm not? Sorry. I think midlife crisis is more than just being single and thinking about yourself. That's so selfish. Midlife crisis is carrying everybody else's crisis on you. And that comes when you are in a relationship or you are married, when you have the responsibilities of being a father, being a husband, being a, 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 a son. You've got your parents still alive and all of that. And it can be the most overwhelming thing that you can ever experience. And it, it leads you to have the most ridiculous decisions in your life. In fact, some of us are only still anchored because we have kids. Midlife crisis can drive you so mad that the decisions you make... I mean, if you see any guy who's driving a coupe, a red coupe, he's undergoing midlife crisis because he has given up and said, I don't, give, a, I don't give an F. But, but, but here's the funny thing. Especially after a cross But he can be but, single. But, 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 I can say that because I've crossed 40. Single guys date single ladies. They have baby mamas. <laughs> <laughs> but another point is this. We, we did have no, no, no problems. So, sorry, Gang, what is this? <laughs> You've gone through multiple. Mo I have, I have more, see, I, my life is not, it's crisis life. <laughs> not mid life, but it's crisis life. I have a friend, right? This guy's a good friend of mine. He's over 40. His wedding is in three weeks' time. Okay. He has been single. 
that has been part of his crisis. Yeah. Part of his not being able to. My kids, now I have a daughter that's 12. And he's looking at you and saying, why I have He's one? looking at me and he's like, this guy, your kids are all grown. Mm. You're spending quality time with them. Yeah. I'm feeling like one old uncle mm. and stuff like that. Single, anybody can go through it, whether you're single or not. Yeah. It's where you are mentally. Yeah. Do you understand? That makes you feel as if you're unfulfilled. Yeah. You deserve more. Put you it in a Nigerian more. context, gang. Mm? In a Nigerian context, when people go through midlife crisis, that's when you, that's when you see people who grew up conservative and start smoking weed when they're in their 40s. Straight mm. up. Well, Shay, Shay is, with, is focused for how long? Now? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't they play. Now, Joe. Uh, but really? let, 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 let's say your take on, on okay, the midlife so, situation. You know, first things. Okay, so there's a way you started off where you said uh, midlife crisis is there's the way the age bracket is people most likely going to die when they're mm. 80 and all that. Mm. Well, I'm going to be around for a while. So, <laughs> hey, hey, we're not I, you know, expecting you going mm. any No, place when soon. I said, wow, yo, I died at 80. Yeah, Andre <laughs> said, I mean, I could die around for a while. I'm going to have a very good time in this life, just so we're clear. But I think the midlife crisis starts almost. Uh, when you start coming into reality, mm. to be honest, when you start seeing the real life, when you start understanding what life is really about, yeah, when there's no more alawi, when you start yeah. paying rent. Yeah. So it's a financial thing. No, not when you start facing reality, when you start meeting, when you, when you meet that friend. When I mean that friend, the friend that shows you that this is life. This when is you start, life when you start, is. Yeah, exactly. When you start meeting the people that let you know that <laughs> this ain't fun and games no more, bro, this is life. That. This is adulthood. Exactly. This is that's what I feel is midlife. As in, like now there's a part you put people that were conservative when they were younger, yeah. and now they're. Yes, I think they go through the hardest midlife because, crisis. Okay, for ever. example, me, me, for example, the way I grew up, oh, there was this. Uh, it was like a structure. A standard for what you know. <laughs> your elbows can't be on the table, my guy. You're going to chop that knock. Exactly. You know, there's a way. You have to speak in a certain kind of way. There's some people you can speak to. There's a way you have to. All don't those where you know yeah. exactly, and then the next thing you get thrown into a public university. Boom! Whew, how are you going supposed to fit in? So on, or then nobody will say, "Good day, sir. How are you doing, sir?" Mm. Now you're going half an hour. Isn't it half an hour? You have to become somebody else to be able to fit in that. But that's yeah. where, for a number of people, secondary school students, I, would, would we say that that's midlife crisis? Mm. There's a way they live in their house, and the next thing they are put in this kind of situation. How do they now? How, how do they have to start? Behaving? Or when you're introduced into another culture when you get married? Exactly, you know, and then. For that conservative form, the I've been a good boy all my life, trying to be, ah, this is the prime, this is the path I'm supposed to follow. Go to church every Sunday. I don't go to the clubs. I only have red wine on Thursday evenings. I only have a beer Saturday afternoons when I'm watching the match. But the next now they can see. Change. Now yeah. they now see that almost. Between Monday and Friday, I can't sit down like this. I'll so. Start drinking at all. You know, mama, why not now? <laughs> I mean, I was driving a Toyota. Why can't I drive a Benz? Mm -hmm. I don't really think that's a problem. I just think oh. you need to face life differently. Should over we go time. through it earlier then? No, I don't. You need to experience life, is what I think. Wait, wait, sorry. You so can't wait. hold back from life. You so need to be in life. You need to drink where you need to drink. I think you should smoke where you need to smoke. You need to find these things out. You need to experience it. So it's not as if it's someone else's story. Like, like you said, it's almost as if you're looking at someone else's life. That, ah, this guy is living his life. Why can't I live it? Does it know. affect your sexuality in any way? Affect your sexuality? How? Midlife like, crisis. Like, yeah, well, it just yeah, might. Yeah. For some people, it just might. Oh. For some people, I mean, you, they, you, were, you they were a one. That... Some people were just a one girl, a one man kind of. Uh -huh. Let me, in the male side, one girl, oh, it's just one girl. Next thing, I'm all, <laughs> why am I being faithful you. when everybody else is told me to mumu? Mm. I beg you. Silly far, you know, then it becomes a proper demon. Mm. I'm not, uh, you know. So your royal uh, so, so, so I was going to say, yeah, so, so I was going to say, mm, yeah. but there's something there. I was going to cut in, but I wanted to talk first and first say something. So sometimes we single people, we go through our midlife crisis through other people. And I can tell you for, for, for real. Okay, so I was trying to cut a deal for Black Bones. I mentioned it earlier to you, but when we were talking earlier. so ugly, but uh, go so, on. So, <laughs> so I was going to cut the deal for him. So I have to talk that to AQ. AQ is a, uh, is close power. Mm. And the first thing we... So, so I, was, I was with my kid's sister's uh, uh, kids. Um, they were playing behind. The kid's sister my, has kids? Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Sister, no married. pressure. Two kids, yeah. No, no, See, no. no. They're a family. <laughs> 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 so, I mean, I mean, they were in my room playing play, play, play with my, my, my gadgets and all of that. And he heard their voice. And the next thing AQ would say is, bro, bro, I used to think you're older than me back then because I know we grew up in the same hood and all of that mm. shit. Like... Where are your kids? Right? Are you married? That's enough to put me in a situation. And I cut the guy off like, dude, 
let's talk business, leave that side of mm -hmm. things. So we go through it through people. We might yeah, think we're yeah. doing pretty good, we're doing very nice. Yeah. Until you, I you. Go, I, I, go visit a friend of yours. Yeah, yours like, 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 like I go to Shay's house now, and, and the wife, they give us platter of food and all that. And I would never get that unless I order from. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. You start comp that's what I was saying. Yeah, start when I get you start comparing your you, life to others. You okay. that, that I my guy so, just give me another platter. Mm. I just he wrong it, but I think I just. So that's the thing. The, 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 the idea of you, you look Don't at other people's me. lives, you look at where you are. Do you, do you understand? You look at where you are. You yeah, look at where other people yeah, are, people, and you feel yeah, 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 you deserve yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, you should be there. You yeah. should have more at the end of the day, yeah. and you just feel unsatisfied. And then sometimes you misbehave because of the experiences you had in life. Maybe mm. you were not a drinker, you were not a smoker, mm. you're not a womanizer, and now you feel, I can do Gang, these things. Can I please shuffle in just a bit? Mm. So you use the word misbehave. So you say it like as if it should be something people should understand that could happen when you're having midlife happen, crisis. Like it people, happen. let me define them, your partner. Should your partner understand when you misbehave inside of your crises? No, not and, that, I mean, we're what, humans. what do they okay. owe you? When that happens, now Support. here's the funny thing. They owe you Love. understanding. Respect. Hey, reverse. Say it again, please. They owe you understanding that, oh, I've seen that you are experiencing this thing and you're behaving this type of way. I understand it, but hurry up Something and get through this happened, face. Yeah. Yeah. Something's happened let's, to let's, Do let's, Nigerian women understand? Mm. Well, it depends. <laughs> if you marry somebody that doesn't have a penis, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then at some point, sorry, I'm going back to that story. And then at some point, let's say, She's married that guy that doesn't have a penis, and she experiences penis. That guy has no right to complain but to understand mm. and find out what do we do now moving forward. Mm. Yeah, okay, good. Pause there. We're going to take a short break, but what I'm going to take away from what you said is... My penis. <laughs> just, I don't need your penis. <laughs> Understanding is a very big pillar yes. in any relationship. In, yeah, in and communication life. as well. Communi in life. See, no, I've always said this. Life, Understanding... Yeah. No, sorry, communication yeah. first, then understanding, least understanding, then yeah. trust. Yeah. Yeah. Love is the fourth one. Mm -hmm. Love is the fourth mm -hmm. pillar, not the first. But yeah. we get it wrong in Nigeria. We get it wrong when start it comes from to the our love. conservative yeah, nature. Yeah. We always start with love. Mm -hmm. It's not love. Mm -hmm. It's that communication, yeah. it's that understanding, yeah. it's that trust, then love. Like, so I don't want to love nobody. I want to understand you. Understanding is the you know, biggest, mm -hmm. best kind of it's, love you could ever have. It's yeah. communication, understanding, mm -hmm. then what else? Trust. Trust, yes. Penis before love. <laughs> Yes. All right, let's let's let that marinate. Let's let that marinate. Let's have it. Let's take a quick break. Because gang needs to get. To, I'm telling you, the alcohol he, is just making me want to bring to, out my penis. He needs to drink the lizard. <laughs> Can you please not do that, though? We'll be back after this break. Do stay tuned. Welcome back. Now, this is a segment where we take your responses to everything we've spoken about since the start of the show. Thank you very much for joining us. Use the hashtag. The Black Table on TVC. Shay, Soul Child, and Gang in the House. Of course, you know my name. Never to That's be forgotten. Yeah. Mazino. So, at Shadi Miles here says, Mazito! She goes on. God forbid bad thing in Jesus' name. No penis care. What would we be doing in the marriage? What would you be doing in bed? Then with the pay-out ring, the pay lights, <laughs> <laughs> the scratch bag. No love stories. I did tell you. And also cast out demons. Uh, yeah, well, prayers. In the, in the name of the Lord. I've asked lesbians this same question. In the name of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> let's not go there. What y'all going to do? Let's not go there. Wow. 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 But really, what do they be doing, though? Hey, we'll never they know. They start fires. <laughs> <laughs> With what? Yeah. Light up. Light up. It's cast the truth. <laughs> and the <laughs> and <it's> cast. <laughs> yeah. Good one. Goes with the time. Very contemporary. Um, Adupe here says, fraud fraudulent fraudulently. That man is a devil in disguise. No yeah, penis. Oh no one can tell me nothing. I'm out of there. Everybody seems to be harping on this one because all the messages I'm seeing, it's all about the no penis guy. No and um, who do we blame is the question. What do we blame? Is it the construct of religion? Is it the construct of what? At the end of the no, day. But if you, well, religion is the reason why they're in this situation. But in general, it's about blaming the fact that you need to communicate some of your flaws before you end up with somebody, before you yeah. make those life decisions. Yeah. You get Would me? you be in a relationship? Do you think you could get married to somebody and say, no sex, we're not going to have sex in this marriage, you? I do I want you. Hello? I will sky you, please. Eh? OK, so I think this thing is so annoying at this point in time, guys. I, I mean, I'm sorry. 
Draw some that, draw so well, you can love a person yo, so much no, that there's yo, no, let's no, no about excuse sex. me, no, Sex please. is not love, is it? Imagine if you say, we are going to be dating, but we won't be showing love can, as a PDA. Te temptation I can that, but not the say, cool overnight. we know right? who. Yeah. Your spec is your spec. Wait. If your spec should walk past, even if you are with your wife, you will look twice. Mm. Wow. Literally. If your spec should walk see, past people, you. People behind the camera are like, yes. They know. See, you can be holding your woman, and your spec will pass. If your woman is your best friend, she'll tap you. Come no on, you know, see. You're yeah. a package. You, <laughs> you're a package. You know, when I was going to chop you, they're not calling you, you where. Shabby. They're not calling you where. We men are visual. We use our, it's our eye that first our mommy or mine, though, <laughs> before anything else. And you are telling me that we're not going to, are you kidding me? Sex is so bloody important. Are you, as in, how will I be looking at prime, prime rib, mm. premium steak, nice cuts <laughs> with the, and, uh, Tell them, tell them, tell them. Uh, so they. Then, in the end, you not tell me that's what? You didn't cook it well. Check your share. And this time, cost me for a good salt. Oh, boy. Oh, Maggie. You, you want to charge so me? What do you advise she do? What she, do you think she should do? Be run. run. Be run. run. Hello. Pa carry your load and go. Run. When there's plenty of sausage in Africa, yeah, yeah. baby girl, run. You come to the oh, African oh, continent. Baby girl, baby girl. And Veronica says, Mazzino, she is still so fresh. Hey, God. Oh, wow. It's your turn to I want to blush, oh, God. <laughs> she's still, she's still spelling it. Hey, Lord. <laughs> hey, Hi, she, uh, you, you're sighted, she says. You're, uh, you're, you're very sighted. I, I, I hear you, too. These, so com these like comments are not meant for, for she. Send it to his DM, please. Oh. Uh, very jealous. Uh, my she number is my place to I'm jealous. Now, now. Uh, by the way, she, we have a thing we call uh, just the tip. Oh, yes, it's exactly what you're thinking. Just a tip. It's, a, it's an advice at the end of the show. Okay. Don't, 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 not everything just... About run short, about very advice. short very advice. Short. I should give who the advice. Uh, don't put the shoulder. Just give the, them. Just the, Those just watching. When the time comes, they will look there. Okay, I'll just look there. I'm like, yeah, okay, so yeah, just give me a warning. You're going to give just them the tip. tip. Just a brick, no get cut down. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm putting primo by the way, guys. At no, Remy, no. At Remy says, my girl uh, having a male bestie. Hmm. What is the meaning of male bestie? Let's define that first. Male bestie called male bestie ni. Mm. Very short Wait, and simple. Did anybody see that video of the guy that walked up to a girl and just started? He started. He started like he was on her side of life. If you get what I mean. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Your hair looks and like then he good. And then switches after this number. You know, and, and, yeah, and like, yo, yeah. And then I like, thought he was I'll hook you up later. And so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, male bestie. Yeah, that's Real, Male bestie. Very quick. My husband went through midlife crisis, so he began to uh, be uh, dissatisfied with our marriage. He once restless. Uh, he was restless about his change in appearance. He began to have thoughts of suicide, and marriage almost crashed. Uh, we, That's we, only natural. Yes. Yeah, so. Let's let's not talk about that because we're at the end of the show. Yeah. Um, we're at that point where our special guest has to give us a <laughs> has to just give us the tip. Change just the tip. Right about advice. Everything we talked about here today. How do you package it for the guests, please? Okay. Um, real quick. If you go to the market. You have to taste what you got to taste to know what you're buying. Mm. So if you're about to get into a relationship that lasts the rest of your life, know what you're getting into. Taste it. Don't go and say, because you didn't taste it, you now have the right to be cheating to get it. You got to get it before you get into it. Are, are you religious in any way? Uh, I say I'm not as religious as I used to be. I'm more spiritual because in the past couple of years, religion has shown itself in various ways. Mm. And it has been abused, especially in this our country, that I don't appreciate I don't appreciate the way it is in the country, but I still believe in a supreme being that takes care of every single one of us, regardless of what anybody thinks. But religion has just been abused in so many ways. I'm not gonna say I'm religious, I'm just spiritual. So to everybody out there, remember there is God within you as he is also around us. So appreciate yourself, love yourself. Insecurities will be your flaws. So don't make that mistake and Go out and marry someone without a penis. No. Penises are very important. No. And she also, too, needs to have it. You know, the gates of heaven. Woo. You know that place that just leads you into Wonderland. It's right. just the team. Pull up, pull up, pull up. They just went. The man of God said, the president will die the next day. Oh, my, we're still here. All right, Some of us have two penises. <laughs> Come and collect one. one. <laughs> two, get two penises. Right, two, I, get one. Two, get I, one. I hate to be a uh, discussion interrupters here, but I have to, like, bring you back. Uh, thank you very much, Shay. Mm. It's been such a wonder to have you on the show. Thank you very much, man. Nice one. Man. Grand. Um, you have to tell me how you keep the eyeballs white because I'm getting... I'm Enough aging. of the eyeballs, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Can <laughs> we focus on his real balls? I bought an open wine bottle for us. <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you very much, Soul Child. Gang. Pass the bottle out now, Soul Child. Make sure you're me eyeballs, baby. <laughs> gang, you're important, even if I don't say, the, uh, say that every weekend. But thank you very much, everybody out there who joins us every single time here on a Friday night. It's been quite a blast. You can keep the messages coming with the hashtag. Um, the Black Table on TVC. TVC! And uh, until we see you again next weekend, um, it's good night, or is it good morning? Reboots. <laughs>